hanging out here at Finger Lake Speed World with Eldon Payne Jr. They're playing some music on the speaker, so we're in a little side room here. Uh, place, by the way, back in the day that I used to come all the time, Eldon Payne Jr. started racing when he was 14 or 15. He is big 5-0 right now. He hasn't raced consistently all the way through, but of course his dad raced, so he got in there pretty quick. Only got out about a dozen times last year. Did have a couple of top three finishes at Outlaw. Uh, he's hoping, and his son tells me he's actually going to be getting out more this year. Eldon, how are we doing, man? I'm doing good. Was it just that simple? I mean, we were talking with, with your son, um, Alex, racing and with Kennedy. I would imagine your focus shifted to them rather than you, so that's why you race lettuce. Is it that simple? Um, I think so. I don't think the plan was necessarily that way, but uh, it kind of works that way. You know what I mean? I think you, uh, you want to see them succeed, and you put your time and effort you know, to what's going to make it better. And we had a car a lot of the times every week at the track. I couldn't go to Canandaigua as much because we had both kids running there. So um, I did get a handful of shows. We had some top 10 runs there and ran good for uh, – Whiteman Automotive, we drove uh, one of his cars, and uh, we had a pretty good season overall. We used the car a couple places and mm -hmm. had some fun with it. Now, did you even run enough where you had to freshen the motor, or no? Um, no, we actually um, changed motors. We ran a, a big small block a little bit, and then went back to the big block because we were running back and forth between the tracks right. and here and there and whatever, so... So you had two cars, or we were actually swapping Same motors? Same car, just two motors. Yeah, so running with an open small block on Friday and then putting a big block in for Saturday is just not doable, no, is it? No, <laughs> it, was, it was much better with the big block both places. Okay, yeah. so what's your plan of attack this year? Because Alex tells me he's going to make sure that you get out more. Um, our plan is to uh, stay focused with Outlaw, um, our own back in our own car. So... Um, we're going to do that. With a big that. small block then, in other words? Uh, we're going to run big small block okay. at Outlaw. And uh, Alex will be there with the with the Troyer car and running running both. He's going to run some sportsman uh, mm -hmm. to start out and then translate to complete big block. And Kennedy's going to do some uh, uh, Hoosier stuff at Outlaw. Okay, this year. makes sense because she's running Hoosiers on Saturday night, Correct. right? So why go back and forth and confuse her? Right. Okay. How's she doing in her development? Um, I think that uh, last year was rough because they they didn't have a B main and they right so um, she handled the car well she did a really good job she kept equipment clean I think she was in one rack all year um, you know and it was a lot tougher it's a Canada was a tough place it is and um, Outlaw didn't have anything else and um, I don't know if we had the structure for the amount of people to do all this you mean together. with help basically yes with stuff? help okay Where we have a lot more now what what changed um i think alex's success has helped a lot you know people mm. want to be around and and uh or they see that you needed to help because you're you know i wasn't on the track as much or somebody's like hey how come you're not running yeah 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 alex's stuff first kennedy stuff my stuff mm -hmm. make sure we're on the right page you know so a lot of times you were rushing just to get there by hot laps i were, know Running your own business yeah. more than well, two one. two businesses now. All right. And um, trying to – Fridays were tough. You know, we're this year, you know, Makes we're sure going to shut the we're gonna shut the doors off at noon and and get down to the at track. At Speed Connection and, or at the construction site? Well, the Speed Connection will be uh, essentially run by um, my mother and uh, and another another lady that works for me. So you're going to put your car on the scale and everything and go for it, huh? So we're going to be able to <laughs> – yeah. We'll be able to go to uh, – We'll be able to go to Outlaw and be a little more comfortable with time and okay. do some planning. Tell me about your stuff. How does it look right now, and what do you have? Um, we're going to start out with I had purchased uh, a Higfab car last year. Interesting. Um, throughout the year, I've known Jerry a long time, and with me and Steve Payne and Jerry, we all we have a little bit of history together. So, um, And then uh, I'm going to run that at, um, at uh, Outlaw. The special shows at Canada, I'm going to run a little bit of big block stuff in uh, one of uh, Bruce Batesel's cars and um, focus on Alex and Kennedy. <laughs> boy, talk, talk about Bruce Batesel. Not just you, but, boy, he really does help a lot of people. I, I was joking with him earlier. Nobody in the stands probably knows who he is, but everybody in the pits does. He does a lot for yeah, a lot of Bruce people. Yeah, Bruce is uh, a pretty generous, uh, giving guy both ways. You know, um, he uh, got to know me through uh, Lance Doucette a little bit more. I had met him years back 
uh, before Danny Wiesner ran for him. So we've known him around the pits and stuff like that. And um, he really was interested in, in helping Alex, you know what I mean? So um, it's worked out good for us, uh, mm -hmm. not only as a friend, but, you know, the labor aspect too, just having some more people and he's definitely not afraid to work. Yeah. And I wish I had half his energy, right? Yeah. I don't know where it comes from. And that guy has got <laughs> He's it. older than I am, <laughs> I know. you know, by a couple of years. And yeah. I yeah. don't know how he, how he does it. Let's go all the way back. You're 14 years old. How did you get into this? And when did your dad, how did your dad approach you? What did you do? <clears throat> I was sitting in the grandstands. Um, my dad was racing. He had come up. And I was sitting with a lady by the name of Debbie Baylor. Uh, she watched a group of us kids because back then they could share cars. So my dad was running the uh, novice. I think it was a rookie expert. No, rookie, yeah, I remember that. Rookie, that three novice of and expert. Yes. So they ran the same car. Um, and he come up in the stands. I think I was, I don't know, I think I was 10, 11, 12. And I said, man, I really wish I could do that. And this day he goes, oh, well, wouldn't you turn 14? We'll was build that, you a was car. Was that the age at that point? Yeah, I think it okay. was still the age at that point. You could run a street stock or whatever. For the rookie, right? For, yeah. Only, right? And uh, and I was like, oh, you know, really? I can do that and this and that? And he goes, well, you got to go to school, get good grades, you know. Ah, so they held that over Help your head. dad, help mom, you know. And mm -hmm. and uh, by Jeepers, when I turned 14, he tells everybody, he goes, well, I thought he was going to be running down the wrong side of the street, so <laughs> we better we figured we better build him a car. So, okay, you know, so we ran from... Uh, I ran some when I was 14, 15, until I was about 19. Okay. And then... Um, so this would have been late 80s somewhere, maybe? Yep. And I then I sat out from, you know, 89 to... Uh, no, I think I ran my last street stock race in 90. Okay. And I was helping uh, Steve Payne, and me and Daryl had helped uh, Steve win Mr. Dirt, uh, big block and small block. We traveled around with him. I helped Daryl Ruggles, and a lot of people know I had a lot of history with Troy Griffin, and um, yeah, we just kind of just kind of been in that world, you know. And then, mm -hmm. and uh, twenty, I was twenty eight years old, and I said, you know what, I want to do this myself, you know. So we mm -hmm. we put a sportsman car together, and nice. we learned and progressed. And you know, as my third year, you drove one of the cars, and uh, well, that was just your third year. That was my third year. Okay, right? yeah, rolling wheels. Uh, yeah, yep. that's right. So um, yep. yeah, it's been a Long, hard road, journey, you know, we mm -hmm. just keep working hard, you know, that's that's mm -hmm. what's got us here. And I tried to bail on that deal at the last minute because all of a sudden it became kind of a little too real. And I remember you got there a little late. Yeah. And I was like, well, if you guys are late, it's okay. I don't need to get in there. No, you're getting in the car. I didn't even know how to shift the thing or anything. Yep. I think you gave me a quick lesson. They rolled the it off clutch. the open trailer and they said, oh, yeah, and I go out on the track and you were out there. I was like, <laughs> he figured it out. <laughs> yeah, and then you pull up next to me and kind of give me a thumbs up. I gave you one back and they hit the yeah. green and – and that was it. But then I stalled it on the way back because you guys never told me what to do to, to get it in the pits. Uh, so I still had it in high gear, slowed down, and, blah, 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 and it stalled out. Yep. But, but I forgot all about that. Man, that was so much fun. Yeah, that so, definitely was a lot of fun. And who knows? I got a new suit. Maybe I'll be doing something this year. So, go. all right. Well, good to see you. Um, throw the business a quick plug before I let you go. Yeah, check us out. Speed Connection. We're on uh, Facebook. Uh, showroom's going to be open full time after uh, this Monday. Okay, and I'll um, be there. Eight to five every day, and um, you know uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, till probably eight o'clock at night. And uh, yeah, check us out. If you need anything? Fuel, tires, whatever. We carry all the major manufacturer stuff, and uh, got some used cars out there for sale. Oh, nice. You know, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'd, it's, it's awesome. I appreciate everybody uh, support and makes a big difference for our family. Hopefully we'll see you in Victory Lane this year, man. I'll be out to see you soon. We'll give you guys a tour like we did at Troy, or we'll do it at Speed Connection. <laughs> Hit the blue E right there, guys. That'll subscribe you. We got over 2,000 subscribers now. We're cranking. Uh, so I wish you all the best, man, and I'll see you at the track soon. Thank you. Good job.